I believe we made the, the best choice for our district. With that, Wednesday night, the Chula Vista Elementary School Board voted unanimously to name their new superintendent. He is Dr. Eduardo Reyes, currently director of human resources in the neighboring Sweetwater Union High School District. He is also a former teacher, ready to deal with teachers in the Chula Vista District who have been working with an expired contract since late last June. Learning happens in the classroom. It doesn't happen in the district office. It happens in the classroom. So we want to make sure that they have good working conditions and that the contract is, is uh, respected. Dr. Reyes is a familiar face in this district, first as a parent and then as a former school board member. But it's his connection to Sweetwater Union that some say complicates his new job assignment. Chula Vista Board President Lucy Ugarte and board member Cesar Fernandez are both teachers in the Sweetwater District, where Reyes has been head of human resources for more than a year now. Reyes resigned from the Chula Vista Board in order to apply for the superintendent position. He sees it this way. The practice of going from one district to the next is common practice. To be honest with you, my goal and my focus is on teaching and learning. Parents we talked with who brought their children to the district's COVID testing center this morning are frustrated with the current administration and skeptical about the new superintendent's appointment coming from the troubled Sweetwater Union District. I feel like there were a lot of people who said explicitly they did not want someone from Sweetwater. We cannot continue pulling parents out of the workforce. And that's happened to you? Yes. What is the situation for you and your family? This is the second time I've missed work as a result, just this week alone. As the superintendent of Chulis Elementary School District, my only focus is ensuring the best for our students at this district. There are more than 28,000 of those students for Dr. Reyes to support. He begins his new job February 22nd. By the way, the district's official public announcement and press release did not include any mention of the Sweetwater Union High School District. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.